Hi guys! My name is Erhuta and we just moved to Finland from Austria. Currently we are living in Turku, but next year we would like to find our own homestead somewhere on the countryside. And in this video I'm gonna tell you uh, what are we looking for. What are our wishes? Um, what would we like to have? And what is what is important for us? And um, what are maybe things w uh, which um, would be nice but not uh, necessary? As a family, we have been living uh, on the in a small village, in a house with many neighbors, uh, with uh, small landlords. Then in a mid-sized city, in the middle of a mid-sized city, in a modern apartment house. Uh, now we are living also in another mid-sized city, but still in the middle of a city, in a eight, nine-story apartment house complex. So we have seen a lot and uh, now we know what we would like to have what we are looking for, how should our home look like, where we would like to spend maybe the rest of our lives, who knows, but still we would like to, in German you say, ankommen, um, come home to somewhere where you feel like here I would like to stay forever. So, how would our dream home look like? We are actually not looking for a house, or maybe it could also be a house, but the most of the houses have um, small landlords, or they don't have any other buildings. Maybe a small farm would describe it better. What's very important is the location. We would like to have a a place which is uh, not too high in Finland, maybe on the third or fourth hardiness or growing zone, because we would like to have uh, fruit trees and other stuff which are more difficult to grow when the winter is longer and summer is so short. As Especially when you are, uh, when you know so little as we do. <laughs> so starting is a bit easier when you are not that high. And because we are coming from Middle Europe, it's nicer when it's not too dark and not too, um, not too cold. It also shouldn't be on a floating or a floating zone or um, some, some kind of swamp or something like that, mm, where the water is standing. A house on a little hill would be a dream, and we don't like it too flat. So there should be um, these kind of things, hills. Then the second one. Uh, we would like to have at least two hectares land, um, so it is 4.9 acres or something like that. We would like to have enough land where we have forest and meadow both, and uh, you have your own wood for the heating and enough space for the animals. We would like to start with chickens, <laughs> so we'll see after that. Then, what also would be nice would be that there are no neighbors too near, so maybe that you don't see any other houses, but that doesn't have to be. And a uh, dead end with own road would be nice. And if you want to live so remote, so far away from everything, it means also that the schools are further away. Mm, but we wouldn't like to drive uh, longer than 30 minutes. 
per uh, direct one direction. So hopefully we would um, find something um, which isn't so far away from the schools. And Finland is also offering for all the kids uh, school taxis or school buses. Um, I guess it's when your school way is longer than five kilometers, then they have to offer it. Anyhow, there shouldn't be any uh, big streets, big roads uh, too near and we don't need big cities either. We love forests, we uh, love the nature so much that there should be a possibility that you just walk in the forest and can do everything you want. We also love the seasons, so a real winter would be nice. But if you are staying lower in Finland, the winter doesn't have to be that good. We'll see what we can find and where. But I really like it here in Turku already, because here is so much more nature than it was in Innsbruck. You see, I'm in the middle of the city now. And I really like it to watch the seasons go on. I love the summer. I love it when it's warm. And then when the summer is turning into autumn and it's getting so beautiful, everything is changing from green to orange and yellow and so on. And then it's getting darker and the evenings are getting shorter and you can spend more time inside of the house and dream and do stuff what you didn't uh, for what you didn't have time in the summer and then it's winter and uh, there is so much snow I love snow I love it when it's cold and then when the days are getting longer and the sun is shining a bit more and the snow is melting and the spring is coming and then everything starts to bloom and you can watch the nature do stuff and it's getting greener there are so many colors suddenly and then it's starting all over. When we were talking about Portugal, I was thinking, hmm, that's a pity that I don't have all the seasons so 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 strong, like in in middle or northern Europe. But I was thinking that there are at least a bit. <laughs> there is a big difference. But now that we are here in Finland, it's. I'm really happy to have the seasons. What would be a huge plus would be access to water. Um, a lake or also a sea or river would do it, but a bigger lake would be nice because then you can also fish. And there should be other buildings also for the animals and for other stuff what you need and enough land for the garden also for everything what you want and if there's a greenhouse already that's also nice but it doesn't have to be there so we would like to have enough space for garden and other stuff because but we don't really know anything, so I guess it's better when you have enough land <laughs> to work on it. So, but we are really excited and I'm already reading so many books. So, we'll see. It would be fun to make some experiments, <laughs> but we'll see. Then um, the house, it would be nice if it's um, if you can live there. 
and you don't have to be afraid of something that the deck is falling down or something that kind of bigger stuff if it's not perfect it's okay but you should be able to live there but we do prefer an older house with some real history what's uh, necessary is a possibility to heat with wood because it, it's just um, so nice to have and it should be big enough for us so at least four bedrooms but it shouldn't be too big and that's um, often the problem in Finland because there are um, old like old school and village schools for sale now and they are just so big or the houses are uh, two bedroom houses and that's way too small so the house should be big and small enough hmm? and it would be nice if there was an extra space for guests but let's see what we find and a wood, wood oven in the kitchen would be also nice but it's not necessary there are many things that would be nice but which are just plus um, points um, when we see something really nice we don't go a list through what has to be there and if it's not there then it's out we are looking the whole thing and thinking about what is good and what's not that good what are the things you can make afterwards and there are of course certain things what makes me scared uh, like rats or if there's something with the house what I don't know what to do with it um, but there are people in the world who know such things or maybe if you are having a 20 kilometers to the school and then the road is all icy and and slidey and so on but the good thing is that in on the countryside in Finland <laughs> there is there isn't that much people driving around or or bikers or actually there just the theories there are no people and then what we are willing to pay depends on many things um, like is there a lake or is there uh, is it um, just um, yeah, everything is new or something like that but we wouldn't like to pay more than 300,000 euros and it sounds crazy that you can have all of this what I just said with so little money if you want to know some more I told something in my previous video about the Finnish prices of course the market is living and let's see what happens next year I hope I could um, explain everything there are surely something I forgot or some other important things or maybe you got some um, questions if so just write me a comment or Instagram or everything just <laughs> just ask Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and see you next time. Bye.